Masks, masks, masks. Everywhere you go, you see them. Everywhere you look, you hear about them. A mask can be described as a covering for all or part of the face, worn as a disguise. Secondarily, it can be defined as a covering fitting over the nose and mouth to protect against dust or air pollutants or to prevent infection. Have you ever heard the expression that nothing in life is free except for the air you breathe? What if I told you that the government is now restricting individuals access to oxygen, fresh air, by mandating wearing a mask in public at all times due to COVID-19? you do differently regarding the pandemic and getting these surging cases now under control? I would go back to making sure that everybody had masks, that you had PPE lined up. We have been making sure we stockpile all the things that we need that we don't have now. The one thing we do know, these masks make a gigantic difference. I would insist that everybody on public be wearing that mask. Anyone to reopen would have to make sure that they walked into a business that had masks. I would Couldn't make... you use your federal leverage to mandate that, though? Yes. And you would you? Yes, I would, from an executive standpoint. Yes, I would. So you would, in effect, mandate the wearing of masks? I would do everything in my possible to make it, mm. make it required that people had to wear masks in public. On another subject... What does all this mean from a prophetic standpoint? I will tell you. The restriction of individuals' rights and denial of liberty of conscience in the case of mandatory mask wearing is setting the stage for the implementation of the mark of the beast, government-enforced Sunday worship, spoken of in Revelation 13. The two primary entities that Satan is working through to bring about the enforcement of the mark of the beast is Roman Catholicism, the beast, and the United States of America, its image. Ironically, while the people are being forced to wear masks, the beast and his image, masks are coming off. They are showing their character that they are neither defenders of civil nor religious freedom. The United States, since its inception, has worn the mask or disguise of being a land of freedom and liberty for all, yet her practices have contradicted that profession. Under that mask of having two horns like a lamb, she has spoken as a dragon, Revelation 13, 11. In her denial of freedom from certain races and classes of people, Indeed, she will do this again and restrict freedom from those who refuse to worship the beast, its image, and refuse its mark. The literal mandating of wearing masks is indicative of the beast and his image, trying to mask, muzzle, and silence the Protestant Reformation, the three angels' messages, by widespread censorship. Yet, she has taken off her mask so as to inoculate the people with her wine, her false doctrines, namely Sunday worship. Popery received her deadly wound in 1798. As in the beast, so in the image. Both entities are wounded and therefore wearing masks and are unable to compel the consciences of the people and persecute dissenters. However, the time is not far distant when they will fully take off their mask. Popery's wound healed, and the beast and his image will make war upon God's people that refuse their draconian, anti-scriptural mandates. But when the wound is healed and the masks come off, 
popery and apostate Protestant America are still highly infectious and release their poisonous miasma from their mouths. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Revelation 16 verse 13 and 14. The prolonged wearing of masks make it difficult to breathe and speak as they deprive one of oxygen. For life, a person needs oxygen. Current events foretell that America's mask is coming off and she will soon breathe and speak. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Revelation 13 verse 15. In Genesis 2 and verse 7, the Bible tells us that Breath plus body equals a living soul. A nation speaks through its legislative and judicial authorities. When the National Sunday Law is enforced, both apostate Protestant America and popery will be fully unmasked, and at this time, God will breathe His Spirit upon His people in the form of the latter rain. The message of the third angel will swell into a loud cry, and many will see the beast and his image for what they really are, and leave Babylon to join the ranks of God's commandment-keeping people. Stay awake and stay unmasked.